Welcome to another video by Kilio Corey's Fisher. Today we are going to talk about microworms and how to culture them and our own method of culturing microworms using a white bread mixture. Microworms are a small nematode worm that are commonly cultured by hobbyists to feed their fry but they are also a good supplementary food for some um, medium-sized fish because they would eagerly eat them as well. It's quite easy to feed the microworms. You just need to scrape the microworms that are climbing up the sides of the culture container and feed your fish. Our white bread mixture for the culture is white bread, dried yeast and milk. And we use a container, a sharp cutting tool and a sturdy mixing tool. We like to cut the crusts of the bread and break them up into little cubes. They go into a bowl and for every three or four slices of bread we use a teaspoon and a half of dry yeast and some milk to start um, mixing the culture until you get a paste-like consistency and the milk yeast and the bread are thoroughly mixed and then the mixture goes into a little takeaway container and the new culture is started by simply putting some microworms from an established culture into the new medium. Here I have placed some of the culture medium, the white bread mixture, into this takeaway container. Um, to start a new culture, this time I'm going to use the microworm starter that you would receive when you get some from people. Um, this is the way I send it, so for people who receive a microworm starter culture, you have to create, um, put together your culture medium, but then by putting just a little bit of water into the vial and mixing it through, you will get the microworms to settle in the water uh, giving it a shake helps and the microworms will settle on the bottom of the little vial and now you can pour that into your new culture medium um, adding just a tiny bit more water to get the last remaining microworms out um, obviously you don't want to use too much water because you don't want your um, culture medium to get too wet. Remember the culture medium already has some milk in it to get that um, consistency. And then all you have to do is put the lid on and over the next few days um, the microworms will multiply and will start to go up the sides like this already established culture which microworms are about halfway up but in a good culture they go all the way up to the lid in our white bread mixture and one question that we get asked why are you doing the white bread mixture rather than the um, usual oat based mixture and that is the smell so this one is an established culture the medium is a bit more liquidy um, and sorry about two three weeks old so if I take a big whiff um, it actually smells not too bad it smells quite yeasty obviously because of the yeast but smells more like stale beer and you don't want to do that with a oat based mixture um, and that is a big factor in using the white bread mixture and this is the new culture that we just set up um, this one smells even better um, so the yeast smell is there but this is a really important um, aspect for us why we switched many years ago from a um, oat based culture to a white bread and milk based culture and when the cultures expire like this one all you have to do is because the medium is now very liquid uh, you can just pour it down the sink use hot water to just rinse your um, 
culture container you doesn't even need scraping just hot water and rinsing and then you have a clear container to restart microworms are a great food for fry and your fish and very easy to culture hope you enjoyed this video by Kilio Cory's Fish Room and please subscribe if you're enjoying our videos thank you